Al Jazeera's Jackie Ronan joins us live now from Donetsk. Jackie, so what more has the acting president been saying about the resumption of these so-called anti-terror campaigns? Well, certainly the noises coming out of Kiev on Tuesday have been quite worrying. Certainly the president pointed to the apparent torture and killing of the local politician from the east of Ukraine. And also, we must remember as well, a few hours earlier, there was an incident involving a Ukrainian military aeroplane that was shot upon by um, pro-Russian supporters, armed demonstrators who were manning a checkpoint somewhere near Slavyansk. So two incidents in the east of Ukraine, which now appear to have prompted uh, the authorities in Kiev to announce a resumption of those so-called anti-terror operations, which had been put on hold over Easter, a truce to show some kind of goodwill. But clearly, uh, goodwill has pretty much run out now. Yeah, and uh, Jackie, so where does all of this now leave uh, the Geneva deal then? The Geneva deal was never looking very hopeful from the start. Almost as soon as it was announced, you had um, claims and counterclaims from the two sides. Um, for example, in Kiev, people were saying, oh, the order to vacate public buildings and vacate public squares and take down barricades doesn't apply to us, doesn't apply to the pro-Europe demonstrators. It only applies to those people in the East. Whereas the pro-Russian demonstrators are in the East say, hang on, this is double standards. If we have to take down our barricades, you have to take down yours as well. And these arguments erupted literally within a couple of hours of the announcement of that deal. And now, of course, we have um, more um, allegations and counter allegations. You have the Russians accusing uh, the authorities in Kiev of... Um, exacerbating things. For example, there was a shooting incident at a pro-Russian checkpoint on Sunday. And of course, you have Kiev, as we just heard there, making lots of allegations towards Russia about interfering in East Ukraine and not doing anything to help calm the situation. So as I said, this deal was never looking very hopeful, even from the moment it was signed. And certainly now, there doesn't seem any basis on which to expect it will be implemented. All right. Uh, Jackie Rowland there in Donetsk. Jackie, thank you.